So here's one way of looking at it. If we pick on the obvious spots where the rust are, we can just cut out the pieces and make pieces to fit each hole where the bulk of the rust is. So do it in multiple pieces. Uh, that's doable and maybe a little bit more straightforward when it comes to the actual manufacturing of the patches. Uh, a lot of TIG welding, so I've just gone through and done some basic maths on how much TIG welding and it's in the vicinity of about 4 metres so that's and that's per side plus reattaching it through the drip rail so a little bit more straightforward when it comes to the fabrication but a lot of TIG welding so that's one way of doing it the second option that I've come up with is just make it out of one piece put a full side through it so if we come up to coming out into the roof running one weld front to rear, one patch, starting at the tape line, coming out to the drip rail, made out of two pieces because that's a, that's a big bit of metal, it's about 1.5 metres long, so end cap, welded to a full side and end up with a full roof side. So you look at it and you think well okay that's pretty tricky. Especially if you look at the front section, I don't know if you can get it on the, on the camera angle, but if I hold the roller there, it's actually got not a lot of angle in it, and, and it's got a bit of shape, but not a whole lot. And then if we go to the extreme, and come to the far end, it's a complete radius. So front to rear, it's got this radius, and then the front is a lot flatter. That makes the patch quite challenging. Unless you have a really good look at it and start to make sense of it and actually it's not as bad as it seems. So I've got some templates that I've made starting at the front so basically just some little radiuses that I can hold onto my pieces I'm making it and it'll give me a bit of a bit of a gauge as to whether I'm tracking right with it. So one, two, three and all the way back here I've got four. The interesting thing that I learned from this is if I compare the rear section, so the four, with the front section, sure they're different but they're not vastly different. So in reality what I've worked out is it has more shape in the rear than it does in the front but it's actually got a twist in it. So if I make sure that going in, I manufacture that twist on it, then it should go quite well. So that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a full side in it. So if I have a look at my two options, this way I've got less than two metres of weld. So less than half the amount of welding is if I just cut out pieces and weld in a whole lot of different pieces. Making a full side is more technical, so I'm going to spend more time making my piece. So I have to I have to make a decision. Where am I going to put the time? Option one, four metres of TIG welding, that's going to take quite a few hours. Uh, and I'm going to make my patches a little bit faster, which will compensate a little bit. Or option two, I'm going to make a bigger piece, it's going to take me longer, it's more technical, but it's going to weld in a lot faster off one weld line. So the choice to me was, re was easy. Option two, we're going to build a full one piece side for both sides of the roof and do it that way.
and there's our piece. So if I just set that in there, it's pretty close to being ready. We have to radius the front edge and make that fit the screen opening. And really apart from that, that's a finished piece ready to weld in the car. And then we just finish it with an end cap, which gets welded to the side, fits in there. That's still going to have a bit of detail put in it as well. But that gives you a good idea of what we're up to. So a bit of useless information. I've just pulled that lead out of there. So factory lead join. So the roof skin comes down and overlaps the pillar. Welded together. It's got a MIG weld, it's got some spot welds. And then it's, and that join's hidden with lead. And we can't weld anywhere near that lead. So if we weld anywhere near it, it melts the lead and it's attracted to the weld and the weld gets infected by the lead. Normally I'd melt that out with a gas torch, but because that's being replaced and that's being replaced, I'm not really concerned about that. So we're actually eliminating the join altogether. Part of my assessment with where I was going to put metal in this car, I didn't want to, I didn't want to touch that lead join. It was sound, I wanted to leave it alone. But because the rust comes right up to it, plus there's rust there, you think, well, if I put it in a piece there and a piece there, how do I know that it's not about to rust here? So I'm not going to take that gamble. I'm just going to replace it because there's so much going on. We'll just do a whole piece and then we don't have to worry about it rusting at a later date. That's our completed roof site. It's all well and done. I'm really happy with how it's come up. We've done both sides, so they're both at the same stage. We uh, stuck to our original plan of doing it in two pieces. So you can see the weld line through there where we've welded the end cap to the front section. The welding, so that's, that's a finished weld line. Wherever possible, where we can. I quite like to run the welds continuous. So basically pick up the welder, start at one end and without stopping run it all the way through and then run through it with the hammer and dolly. Obviously at the end of that, with these big flat panels, we need to make sure we've got no soft spots or any oil canning in the, in the skin itself. If you look at this, it's actually, it's actually really good. It's got no soft spots, it's got no, no oil canning, it's nice and, nice and firm, both sides are the same. Uh, it feels really good across the weld, from running my hand across the weld, that's nice and uniform. There's a little bit of room for improvement. I've got it sort of 90% to where I want it to be. Uh, I'll go through and spend a little bit more time on it, uh, just to get it a little bit straighter. But all in all, uh, for uh, a, a weld of that length, through a fairly, fairly flat panel, uh, more than happy with the, with the result.